Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is all new to me, but I think it's going to be fun. So I hope you find something of interest here that we talk about today and that you decide you want to come back, okay? First of all, let me start by telling you a little bit about myself. I am retired from the workforce after working for 30 some years, and I stay at home taking care of myself, my husband who's also retired, our Pomeranian named Ginger who is going on 12 years old, so I guess you could say that she's in the retirement stage of her life as well. So we just spend time together taking care of one another and enjoying life at this stage of it, okay? Um, I do try to keep active both physically and mentally. I haven't really explored the spiritual side of things yet, but that's in the future. I will be. I've thought about it. And that is the next stage. I usually do socialize outside the home with classes at the YMCA that I take and various sewing classes that I take at a nearby fabric store where I've shopped and taken classes for the past 20 years. It's a, it's a great place. The instructors are wonderful. The store is full of wonderful um, fabrics, beautiful fabrics, and it's just, it's a great place to hang out. And I've enjoyed all the classes that I take there. I started out by taking quilt, quilting classes over 20 years ago. And now recently I wanted to take uh, classes on making clothing. And I've taken a few beginning our basic sewing classes that way. And I would like to take more. So that's a new interest of mine. I do have a sewing room here in the house. Um, I, uh, that's where I do spend most of my time to do the sewing. It's a mess right now, so you're not gonna see it, but maybe in the future I'll become more organized. And that may be a video too, okay? So, and let's see. I also play around on a keyboard, which is right over there which you can't see right now. But I used to take lessons years ago when I was in junior high school, many years ago. But I don't take lessons now. I kind of, through the years I took lessons for a few years, then not for several years, lessons again for a year or so, and then not for more years, and then on again. I would like to find a teacher that would let me take a, a lesson maybe once a month. I just, I don't have time to be able to practice on a daily basis for an hour or so each day. So I think if I could find somebody to give me a lesson once a month, that would be more my speed right now. Until then, I just play around and play the songs that I enjoy listening to, hearing me play, and have fun with it. That's really where I'm at right now with that. I do like to shop, all kinds of shopping. I do thrift a little bit. Usually, I'm very, very picky. And I, I don't like a, a lot of things that I see in the stores, but sometimes you can find some really, really great bargains. And I do have some things to share with you today, later in the video, that I think I found some really good deals. Um, let's see here. Several years ago, I, I trained and showed Shetland Sheepdogs in confirmation and obedience. I learned how to groom then, and I have carried through those grooming skills on my Pomeranian. And she does enjoy her grooming. She Sometimes she'll even fall asleep. It's, it must feel good to her. I do not do anything whatsoever to hurt her, so she doesn't have any reason to be worried about it. And I do enjoy grooming. I don't seem to do too bad of a job because she's seen out in the public at the vet's office and. Uh, her babysitter, when we go on a trip, you know, she goes to stay with somebody and they never comment saying, who groomed your dog? That was pretty bad, you know. So I think I must do a pretty decent job. And Ginger thinks so too. I love to travel. That's one of my big loves. I do love to travel. Meet people, new people, see new areas, learn histories, stories of the areas that I visit. Yeah, I just, I, I do enjoy traveling. My husband does like to travel too, but because of health issues right now, he's not able to do too much um, too far away from home. So we do little trips right now. For my birthday a couple months ago, we went to stay at a hotel at the beach and we thoroughly enjoyed that. It was late spring and it wasn't 
really warm weather to go in the ocean, but we we did wait a little bit and spent time on the beach walking and in the downtown area. It was just a wonderful time. I thoroughly enjoyed it and so did he. So I think we'll be going back there anyway on a regular basis for some non-birthday type stuff. Oh, sorry about that. I think I kicked my tripod <laughs> and shook things up a little bit. Um, and now we're looking at uh, taking a trip again in June, July for my husband's birthday. And we have a few places in mind to go, but haven't quite decided yet which to do. So well, I'll let you know about that when we do. And who knows, I might be taking you with me. Then in August, I am going on a trip to Great Britain with two friends of mine from Minnesota. And we are just going to be touring England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, and then spending a few days in London after the tour ends. We'll be there for about two weeks, and I am just really getting excited about it. I, I love England, I've been there before. I've got friends in Bournemouth, and I'm hoping to visit them a day or so as well while I'm over there. But I'm just really, really getting excited about going. So just think, you may be going to England with me, or Great Britain, so hang in there. Basically, I guess I would say I'm, I'm a Midwestern girl living in the South and just trying to enjoy my life, make it the best possible life for me, my husband, and my dog, okay, and my loved ones. That's all a person can do, you know, really. Just do what you need to do as long as it's not illegal. I guess I have a favorite saying is like, you need to do what makes you happy in life as long as it doesn't hurt you, your loved one, or it's not illegal either. So, just words of wisdom, I guess, I don't know. I got interested in YouTube videos because a friend of mine started a channel of her own and I got watching her. And then I went off to other channels that um, were connected to hers, having to do with makeup techniques and hairstyles and shopping and thrifting and that sort of thing. So I got watching those channels. And then I kind of digressed from there. And I started watching channels that address how to live more economically. And I picked up a few ideas from them. That I find them very informative. And especially when you're retired, you need to live or learn to live as uh, frugal as possible. And I think I had some good ideas to begin with, but I was able to add to my ideas. And I learned to live more frugal than what I was. I also watch the travel channels. I love to see the different areas that people go to. And I also picked up a few techniques on how to pack uh, more, I guess more proper, uh, in order to pack better for a two weeks to, especially. So I'll be using some of those techniques real soon. And I find myself intrigued with interested in and just amazed by people who dwell in their RVs and vans and cars. I watch channels um, made by people that live that way. That is their home. If things came down to it, I think I could do it. It'd be real, um, it's a humble life but they seem to do it just fine and be happy with it and travel around and see different sites in the country. I think I could do it if I had to. If, if things came to the point where I had to, I think I could. So, but I find the channels really interesting and I'm a member of several of them. One of them actually is um, somebody in the Northeast that has downsized to a Oh, a very small travel trailer on a piece of land. They moved from a, a huge home, a three to four bedroom home, down to a bare one bedroom cabin is what they call it a cottage. But they're very happy. And what they say is they live simple and live free. And that's true, they live without bills, except for they're hooked up to you know, the, the um, electric and sewage and that sort of thing on their property. Um, but they don't have a lot of, they pay cash for everything. You know, amazing nowadays for somebody to be able to do that. 
So anyway, I do find those channels very interesting as well. Now, before I get in, digress anymore, let me tell you about my haul from today, okay? First of all, I did shop at um, Goodwill. I do like some of the Goodwill stores in the area, and some of ours are really very nice. I found these baskets. There's two of them, and I will be hanging them on, a, on the wall in my sewing room and using them to organize better. I put a lot of stuff in both baskets, okay? So two baskets for $2.99, they're wire. I didn't think that was too bad of a deal at all, and they're like brand new, so I figured that was a good deal. Okay, the next thing I got at Goodwill was um, I was looking at some some of the dishes, the china stuff that they have, you know. And sometimes I, I find small items there. And the, there was a one of the clerks working in the area, and she goes, "Hey, did you see these?" And she looked, she showed them to me, and I looked at them, and I thought I had to get them. I use this sort of thing for my dog dishes. It's a it's a small bowl. It may not look too small on the screen here. But it is a small dish and very good size for a water bowl and food bowl for a small dog. So that, I have five of them in a box and they were $5.99. So I figured that was a good deal. So Ginger has new dishes. Okay. And then from Goodwill, that's, that's all I found at Goodwill. Um, I went on to Dollar General in our area. I did find quite a bit there. First of all, I'll show you this because I've already used it. It's out in the pool area. I found a float. I wanted a float. I just wanted to try it. And it was $6, so I figured, what the heck? I bought it. My husband blew it up using the compressor he's got out in the garage, and it worked just fine. If it lasts a month, that's fine with me. $6, it's not gonna break me. If it lasts a summer, that's fine. Great, burn. Then I got some hefty bags. Slider bags. I use the slider bags. That's what I prefer. And I got uh, gallon bags and quart size bags. Two dollars a box. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Okay. And then my husband and I do drink this. We just add this this powder to our water and make a fruit drink. We already have a strawberry one and a grape one, orange as well. And I got berry punch and a cherry. I got two boxes of these, and these were only like a dollar a box. Um, let's see here. For traveling, I'm already checking out little sample things to take with me. So I've got a little deodorant and a little toothpaste. And I want to say these were a dollar a piece too. I'll be buying more sample packages like that or bottles of stuff to take with me, little travel sizes. I also found makeup removal pads, a dollar. I don't use these on a regular basis, but I thought for a dollar, I'm gonna try it. You know, moisturize and wash your face. Uh, in this area, at this time of year, I'm having trouble finding house slippers. I don't have a pair of good house slippers. I have these footy socks that I use on our tile floors, wooden floors. It gets cold in the air conditioning, so I have to have something on my feet. I just have to. Well, I found a pair of house slippers at Dollar General. Six bucks. I figured, okay, they'll last until I can find some in the stores, you know, when it gets colder in the, in the fall and that. So this is pretty good. Six bucks isn't bad. And then I use this cream quite often, 535. And then on the package, it had a 55 cent coupon attachment that I was able to use as well. So I got that. And this is a bigger box size too. It's the one, one ounce instead of the half ounce size. Um, for our trip, just in case we need them, I've got some Huggies wipes. I figured they might come in handy and they were only like two bucks. Let's see, what about that? Now this is something my husband uses and he asked me to get it today when I went out shopping. If I would have got it at my public store or Walgreens, I would have paid two to three dollars more than what I did at Dollar General. It's biotin, dry mouth oral rinse, and this was only five dollars. So 
Same size as what's in the store too that I would have paid a couple of dollars more for. Okay, so I think, yep, that was my haul for today, okay? Well, I hope that you have seen something that you enjoyed seeing and hearing it about here, and I hope you're interested enough to subscribe, like this video, and come on back and visit me again when I make a new video. I have other ideas in mind, and you'll be going on some trips with me too, so come on back, okay? We'll see you then. Bye for now.